Hello, Yakri here with the Dota 2 video. So this is my first Dota 2 video, despite the fact that it uh, is my most played game on Steam, beating out Warframe by a good 200 hours, because I, I don't really uh, feel like I'm good enough at Dota 2 to do a lot of the kind of content I usually do, like tutorials and whatnot. There are much better players out there to uh, give you that kind of information than me. However, I do think I could uh, provides useful information in terms of analysis, and there's a great opportunity to look at sort of the mathy side of the game with the recent patch notes and the change to bounty runes. I think a lot of people are underestimating how impactful this change has been, especially on like Reddit posts and whatnot. You have to kind of dig deep before people start pointing out uh, the math behind how big this change is and how, and in particular, not just how big it is, but the fact that it's very big in favor of making bounty runes extremely important. A lot of people seem to think that they're they're not going to be that important. It's not such a big deal. Blah 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 blah. Um, that's not that's really not the case. I don't think. Um, rather, I think bounty runes are much more important now, and this is why. So, uh, first off, actually, one one little caveat because uh, I don't want to talk about any of the other notes in this most recent patch, except for the fact that there's going to be less gold overall on the map by a given number of minutes into the game. Uh, and that's stated by the patch notes themselves. Um, and you can go read about that in more detail if you want. But the, the gist of it is that that means that bounty runes are more important because of that than this change would be if it was in a vacuum. Um, but even even without that in consideration, this is still a pretty uh, significant change. So, bounty runes now spawn every five minutes, and they now grant gold to each player instead of just the player who picks them up. Although, it's the same amount of gold scaling as before. They fully fill bottles. That's uh, fairly impactful. I think it's, it's probably going to make a... Well, I don't know about a big difference, some difference. Um, however, uh, the really big thing here is the this giving gold to every person on your team, right? So now bounty runes only spawn every five minutes, but their effect is what, uh, five times more powerful. And that means that actually, so if we think of it this way, right? You get five bounty runes by five minutes. That's almost like bounty runes spawn every minute now in terms of the impact that they have on the game. And that's pretty accurately reflected the amount of gold you're going to be getting from bounty runes. So as I have up on the screen here, uh, at 15 minutes, if you collect all four bounty runes, you will get 4,200 gold for your a team, right? For your entire team. Uh, previously, if you collected all four runes, you would only get uh, 1,700 gold, or 1,790 by uh, 14 minutes, or 2,144 at 16 minutes, if you collected all the runes on the map every time they spawned. Now, in either of those cases, is actually a fairly significant amount of gold uh, for your team, especially if it's distributed onto your supports, so you don't really have other, other mechanisms for getting gold. Um, that early on into the game. It's pretty significant. However, 4,200 gold is double, right? You have the potential in terms of team net worth to uh, generate double the lead on the enemy team that you could previously by dominating bounty runes when they, and you know, keeping them from getting any. Um, so this is, this is pretty huge, I would have to say. And really, the interesting thing is that it's um, also not that uh, big a deal in terms of the amount of uh, gold that individual players could realistically get from bounty runes, right? So if you're playing in like uh, the, the safe lane and uh, you manage to totally dumpster the enemy off laner and anyone else, and any uh, you know support laning with them and you take all of their runes and all of your runes in the off in the safe lane, right? Uh, you could get about 1072 gold from doing that. Uh, but at 15, this is the 15 minute comparison again. Uh, and this means that um, if instead, if you can manage to pull that off, however, in both lanes, uh, in this new meta, you can still get about 840 gold for each player uh, on your team. Now, here's the, here's the point. Now, you might be saying like, all right, well, that's comparing getting four bounty runes to getting two bounty runes every time that they're up. That's true. However, that's possible, right? It's possible for one player, in this case actually each player, to gain the benefit of getting all four bounty runes every single time they're up if you win both lanes, right? Uh, not, not including the mid lane, of course. So the, what that means is that laning is really important. And if you can win your lanes very heavily, uh, it's going to be much harder for the enemy team to come back from that because you're going to be generating this extra advantage even if you can't get kills, if you can just pressure the lanes and keep them from uh, having control over the map in the early game, you're going to be able to get this gold lead for each character, uh, each, <laughs> each character, each player on your team. Um, 
and uh, part of it that's really important is that potentially if you have these strong like early game fighting supports uh, you're going to be able to get this money for your mid laner without them leaving to go pick up bounty runes a lot of people are saying like alchemist is probably like, just destroyed by this change uh thing is probably he's going to get the benefit um what if other people pick up the runes i believe that's how it works that's how people are speculating it's gonna work so let's assume that is how it works which would make a lot of sense alchemist can then stay in mid lane and if your other two lanes are strong he's going to get and get a pretty solid amount of gold possibly yeah probably more than he could realistically get let's see yeah than he could realistically get before he'll probably actually get more wait yeah no maybe as much going going for two runes is kind of a long walk for him i'm not sure if you want to do that well that, that's a little more speculation and i'm not a very not exactly a good alchemist player so i wouldn't know but uh, in any case you, you have this kind of situation where your cores can continue farming and for the most part and you if you can still get these runes it can accelerate their farm while also not taking money away from your supports so it matters quite a lot and there's less money to be had in lanes so it's it's kind of this effect i think where we're gonna see like the the difference in net worth between cores and supports we're decreasing just a little bit not a lot but a little bit and uh you're gonna kind of be offsetting that by getting these bounty runes to keep your cores up to where they need to be in gold farm and uh that all but it also gets money for your supports so uh i think the supports are gonna maybe have a little bit more um impact from gaining gold because there's going to be a little bit more uh i don't know about reliable if you're losing obviously you're not necessarily going to get this advantage but kind of more reliable gold you're going to get even if you're getting if you're not getting xp if you're not or advantage you're going to get right if you're not getting xp and stuff so um yeah yeah basically fighting for runes is more important that's the net the net result is that there's less gold on the map and more of the gold on the map comes from runes as far as your whole team is concerned so getting runes is super important now that's that's pretty much it um and uh so you know just to play around runes fight for them it's it's worth putting significant effort into to getting control of runes and making sure you get them every time that they come up later in the game getting all four runes i think it's like 60 minutes is like a four thousand gold swing just from one set of runes or maybe more um so it can be fairly impactful even if you don't need items just in getting you enough money for buyback so yeah all right that's all for my speculation on bounty runes basically tldr bounty runes more important now not less important and the total amount of gold you get from them is more not less and uh yeah yeah collect those bounty runes thank you all for watching if you like this content and want to see more like it like comment subscribe uh and i'll see y'all next time yakri out